everyone, it's Miss Nicole, the children's librarian at the Cicero Library, and I'm here today with another set of Lit Bits for you. Those are itty bitty literacy games that children and caregivers can play together. So the two games that I have to show you today are both songs, and they're both what's called cumulative songs, which means they start small and they get bigger and bigger and longer and longer. Um, and there's a precise sequence that you have to remember in order to sing these songs. This idea of sequence is really important when you start reading, right? You need to know beginning, middle, and end. You need to know what comes after what, right? This, then that, then the other. So being able to put things in line is really, really helpful when you start to read later, right? So a cumulative song, the first one I have is called, I like apples on my pizza. It goes like this. I like apples on my pizza. I like apple pizza, please. Put the apples on my pizza. Don't forget the extra cheese. Okay, so the next thing you would do is you would ask your child, oh, what else should we put on my pizza? And you can be uh, reasonable, pepperoni, you can talk about what you really like on your pizza, or you can be silly. My daughter prefers to be silly, so she would probably pick bananas. The next verse goes like this. I like bananas on my pizza. I like banana pizza. Please put the bananas on the apples. Put the apples on my pizza. Don't forget the extra cheese. Okay, so what comes next? We could say carrots. I like carrots on my pizza. I like carrot pizza, please. Put the carrots on the bananas. Put the bananas on the apples. Put the apples on my pizza. Don't forget the extra cheese. Okay, so as you can see, I was actually picking um, fruits and vegetables that start with A, B, C, and so on. You definitely don't have to do that. You can come up with whatever sequence you want. It's much fun, it's much more fun if the child picks the toppings for the pizza. But if you want to play a game, including the alphabet, this song works really well for it. Um, it's also fun to try and think of different uh, foods that start with different letters of the alphabet. So for an older kid, that might make this game even more fun. The second cumulative song that I have to show you is a traditional song. It's been around at least since the eight, late 1800s and probably a lot longer than that and I'm sure you've heard it before. I think uh, Woody Guthrie even covered this at one point. It's called The Green Grass Grows All Around and this is about sequence and it's also about size, bigger and smaller. You'll see as I sing it, um, you start out big with a tree and then you'll go to a branch and then a limb and then a nest, which is even smaller, and the egg, which sits in the nest, right? Uh, so it's, it gets smaller and smaller and smaller, and then you work back backwards and go bigger and bigger and bigger, as you'll see. Um, this song has motions to it. Um, I'm going to try to remember to do these in order. It's very um, more challenging than you might think, but it's really fun. Um, let's see. There was a tree. All in the wood, there's my tree, the prettiest, prettiest little tree that you ever did see. Oh, the tree in the hole, there's the hole, and the hole in the ground. And the green grass grows all around, all around, and the green grass grows all around. Now on that tree, there was a limb, you could stick out your arm like that, the prettiest little limb that you ever did see. Oh, the limb on the tree and the tree in the hole in the hole in the ground and the green grass grows all around all around and the green grass grows all around now on that limb there was a branch right there the prettiest little branch that you ever did see oh the branch on the limb and the limb on the tree and the tree in the hole in the hole in the ground and the green grass grows all around all around and the green grass grows all around now on that branch sorry branch <laughs> uh no branch there was a nest <laughs> the prettiest little nest that you ever did see oh the branch on the limb and the limb 
on the tree and the tree in the hole in the hole in the ground and the green grass grows all around all around and the green grass grows all around I apologize I'm having a hard time remembering which arm is branch and which is limb it really doesn't matter right now in that nest there was an egg the prettiest little egg that you ever did see oh the egg in the nest and the nest on the branch and the branch on the limb and the limb on the tree and the tree and the hole in the hole in the ground and the green grass grows all around all around and the green grass grows all around now in the egg there was a bird right a prettiest little bird that you ever did see all the bird in the egg and the egg in the nest and the nest on the branch and the branch on the limb and the limb on the tree and the tree in the hole in the hole in the ground and the green grass grows all around all around and the green grass grows all around now on that bird there was a wing the prettiest little wing that you ever did see all the wing on the bird and the bird in the egg and the egg in the nest and the nest on the limb right and the limb on the branch and the branch on the tree and the tree and the hole in the hole in the ground and the green grass grows all around all around and the green grass grows all around now i'm not going to do the rest of this because it's just going to keep getting longer and longer right but you can get even smaller there's a dozen different versions of this song if you want to go uh, uh even smaller so feather on the wing and then flea on the feather and then germ on the flea um you it just it's up to you how small you want to get but that's the basics of the song it's really great. Um, it's challenging for me. It's easier for children. Um, and it's totally fine if you mess it up because your child will catch you and correct you and that's how they learn these things, right? And they'll enjoy correcting you. Um, so there you go. Two cumulative songs that will be very helpful later when your child learns how to tell and understand stories. That's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for joining me for another set of Lit Bits. Make sure that you check our website, that's nopl.org, for more great activities, and I'll see you next week. Bye!